Okay, so here we are in NIS Elements, and I have a uh, sample here, a circuit board um, cover of a hard drive. I'm at the lowest zoom magnification of my SMZ18 Research Zoom Stereoscope. And in this case, I want to get a little bit more in this image than what I can see. So I'm going to now take advantage of my XY motorized stage. So the NIS Elements software can work together with the stage to do image stitching. And it's very simple to do. We just go into the Acquire, Scan Large Image Menu, and it automatically knows my calibration in this case, since everything's intelligent in this microscope and communicates with the software. In this case, in this uh, area here, I'm going to choose uh, the number of pictures I want to take. I'm going to do two um, by three. And you'll see a little indication um, here of about uh, the grid pattern that's going to be created by this. So I'm, I'm going to capture two by three images. Uh, they're going to overlap by 10%, and that's uh, so the uh, edges of the pixels can uh, correlate in the software and uh, match them up perfectly for a nice stitched image. And simply hit scan, and the software takes over, controlling the XY motorized stage. We're creating thumbnails in this area here, um, which is giving you a little preview of the stitched um, area that we're capturing. And when it's all done, it's going to use that overlap, sew the edges together, and when we're done, we have one large stitched image. This image is now 3118 by 3054 pixels, still calibrated from the intelligence of the microscope, still allows me to put my scale bars on the image, take measurements. Um, say I want to go corner to corner measurement here. Save this image, embed the measurement uh, in scale bar with the image, and use that as part of my presentation. Okay, so here we are in Elements, and I have a sample. Um, again, that I'm at my lowest mag, and I want to get a little bit more of this in the field of view as I go left and right here. And also, you can see that uh, my focus is not um, completely good all the way across. I have some areas in focus and some areas out. So what we're going to do here is marry a couple of techniques together. Um, by going into our Acquire Scan Large Image dialog box. And this time I'm going to um, set the area that I want to capture as top, bottom, left, and right. So I'm going to use my joystick to navigate to the top and hit the top arrow. And I'm going to navigate to the left hand side of my sample and hit the left arrow. I'm going to navigate down to the bottom, hit bottom, and then lastly move my joystick to the right portion of the sample I want to capture and hit the right button. And over here, the difference is going to be I'm going to now choose to do an EDF um, of, I've predetermined I want to do step sizes of 500 microns and a count of 10. So basically five above and five below this, uh, this middle focus point. And again, I just hit scan, software, and motorized stage and Z drive are all working together now to go to the first um, image, capture an EDF, move to the next XY plane, do an EDF, create an all-in-focus image, and just keep going until we've built this uh, entire um, area that I've uh, determined with my X, uh, XY top, bottom, left, and right. Again, we're creating thumbnails up here to give us a little preview of what this is going to look like. And uh, when it's done, it's going to take the thumbnails with this 10% overlap and create one large all-in-focus image. Close my dialog box, and again, I have my finished product, which can be saved as one large image. Again, I can place scale bars on this image, take um, either length measurements, area measurements, or any variety of uh, manual measurements which exist over in this toolbar here. And again, my measurements get uh, saved in this data table, which can be exported to a re uh, report or Excel spreadsheet and prepared for the customer.